This video is a demonstration of the on-delay timer of a sequential function chart. We will begin with an introduction and an explanation on how on-delay timers work with Automation Studio, and then apply the on-delay timers on traffic lights. The on-delay timer depends on an input condition and a preset time, so the components to be used are input condition and preset time. Then the syntax is as follows. TON slash input condition slash preset time slash or T slash input condition slash preset time slash. For example, on delay timer on the variable X1 for a preset time of 4 seconds or on delay timer on the variable X2 for a preset time of 500 milliseconds. The following figure shows the behavior of the on-delay timer. On the top, we have a Boolean variable var1, which is used as the input condition of the timer. This timer has a preset value of t1. So on the bottom, the output of the timer, and in the middle, the accumulated time of the timer. When the input variable goes from false to true, the timer begins counting from zero until reaching the preset time t1 as long as the input variable remains true. After t1 time, the output of the timer will go to true and remains as long as the input is true. Then when the input goes to false, the output of the timer will go to false. When the input variable goes to true again, for a certain period of time, less than the preset time t1, so the accumulated time will never reach the value of t1, and the output of the timer will never be true. And if the input variable goes to true, for a period of time equal to the preset time t1, so the output of the timer will be exactly an impulse. The timer will begin to count until reaching the preset time t1, and then it creates an output of 1. But the input goes to false directly, so the output will also be false directly. Let's use on-delay timers with Automation Studio in this simple application of traffic lights from the SFC introduction video. On the right-hand side, a standard diagram that contains three HMI lamps, each with a personalized Boolean variable, red, yellow, and green. Each one of these variables is linked to one of the lamps. On the left-hand side, a sequential function chart document which outlines the logic behind these traffic lights. For the sake of this example, the red light will be turned on for 4 seconds, the green light for 6 seconds, and the yellow light for 2 seconds. In the SFC document, click on the Insert Alternate Step Transition tool in the Home menu. The first click will create the step. Click again for the transition. Click for a step, transition, step, transition. Now in the first step, Double-click to open the properties. The first step has to be an initial step. In this step, program the red light to turn on for 4 seconds. Go in the variables, type red, then double-click on the personalized variable red, and apply and close. The second step is the green light, so green, the Boolean variable green, double-click, and apply. And then the third one is the yellow light. Apply and close. This syntax, only typing the name of a Boolean variable in the step, means that this Boolean variable will be true as long as the step is active. So the red variable the Boolean variable red will be true as long as step 1 is active. Then, when transition 1 will be true, the system will go to step 2. So the red variable will turn to false, and the green variable will turn to on. 
So initially, the red light is on, and it should be on for 4 seconds. Go to the transition in the properties. Now in the syntax and operators, add an on delay timer, which could be the T or T on. So the first parameter here is the variable. Link it to the red variable. So now, we have a timer on the red variable. For four seconds, apply. Then go to transition two. The green variable needs to be on for six seconds. Again, select a timer for the green. The first parameter, which is the input in this case, and then the preset time of 6 seconds. Apply. And the same procedure for the yellow, except for 2 seconds. Again, on delay timer, on the variable yellow, for 2 seconds. Apply. Finally, close the loop to keep the process going. Initially, the sequential function chart begins at step 1, and the Boolean variable red will be true. The timer will begin to count 4 seconds. At the end of the 4 seconds, the output of the timer will be true. So transition 1 will be true. This will allow the sequential function chart to move from step 1 to step 2. So the red variable will turn to false and the green will turn to on. The timer of transition 2 will begin to count 6 seconds. At the end of the 6 seconds, its output will be true. So transition 2 will be true. The SFC will move from step 2 to step 3. So the green variable will turn to false and the yellow to true. The timer of transition 3 will begin to count 2 seconds. At the end, its output will be true, so the sequential function chart will move from step 3 to step 1. The yellow variable turns to false, and the red will once again turn to true. In the simulation, we can see the behavior in action. Initially, the red light is on, it stays on for 4 seconds, the green for 6 seconds, the yellow for 2 seconds, and then the sequence starts again. Now it's possible to change the input variables of the different times. Since the Boolean variable red is synchronized with step 1, the green with step 2, the yellow with step 3, go to the first timer and use the internal variable of step 1 instead of the Boolean variable red. The syntax is x1.x, which is the internal variable of step 1. Apply and do the same with the other timers. In this case, x2.x, and the third timer instead of the yellow will be x3.x. And when we go back to the simulation, here it's exactly the same behavior, red for 4 seconds, green for 6 seconds, yellow for 2 seconds, and the sequence starts again.